So as I mentioned in my previous video, today we are going to be creating this custom cursor using pure HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So stay tuned. Before starting the video, let me mention that I am on my code pen. So if you want to play around with the code, you can find the link of this pen in the description down below. And now let's start the video by creating a UL with a class of list. Inside this list, I'll have four list items with class of item or I think I cannot write like this four items. Yes. And now inside every item, I'll add an anchor tag with a class of link. Now let's hit tab and now let me maximize this HTML code editor like this and now in every href I'll write hashtag and now I'll give home in the second one I'll write about us in the third one it would be our services and at last it would be contact us like this now we'll move on to our CSS and give some basic stylings to my universal operator and to my pseudo elements I'll give padding of zero margin of zero box sizing border box after this, I'll grab my body, give it a height of 100VH, width of 100% and I'll also give it a background of 121212, give it a display of flex, justify content, content, center and at last align items, center, like this and now uh, I'll give my list a display of flex and this will only align my items horizontally now i want to remove my bullet points for that i'll give list style none and this will remove my bullet points now i'll go to my item and give it a font size of 2 rem give it a margin of 0 from top and bottom and from left and right i want 1m like this i'll also add a font family of poppins here and i've already uploaded this poppins font family here in my code pen so I can write it like this but if you are not on code pen and if you have not uploaded your font you, have, you will have to import that from Google fonts and I think I did a mistake because I'm getting one to here so list style I want none here list style none so now the numbers will also be removed now I'll uh, I'll grab on my link and give first of all i'll remove the decoration that means the underline give text decoration none now i'll change the color to f7 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 and now this this was it for the styling of our list now i'll just add my main code and that would be for the cursor so i'll create div with a class of cursor and basically i'll create two divs with class of cursor and now to the first one i'll add one more class that is called outer and to the second second dev i'll also add one more class that is inner here in this case now to this cursor um to this cursor i'll give it a height of 25 pixels width of 25 pixels and now i'll grab outer and give it a border of one pixel solid f7 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 and i want to make it circle so i'll give border radius 50 percent and that would create a circle for me and now I'll take inner and to this I'll give a background and that would be f7 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 as well like this so now these are adjacent and these are adjacent just because we have we have given uh, them one upon another like this now uh, to the cursor I want it to give position absolute now it will come here and we can see that uh, here these both inner and outer are overlapping each other but here it is a kind of confusion that we can see O here so this is not this cursor this is, this is O of our services so that is a kind of confusion let me increase the height and width of this cursor so now I have changed it to 100 pixels and 100 pixels so now you can see that this is my cursor overlapping each other now um, I want to make the border tr uh, border 70% transparent okay so now I've given the transparency 70% and to my inner I'll give 20% transparency so the last two digit is for transparency and now it is like this and now I will again change back from 100 pixels to 25 pixels and now we can barely see our cursor so for that we do not have to worry about that because 
it will follow our mouse pointer now to for our cursor to follow our mouse pointer I'll I have to go to JS and say const cursor equals document dot query selector all dot cursor so that means I'm selecting both of the cursor and now I'll add an event to my window and that would be mouse move and I think I have a typo here typo error here window dot add event listener mouse move and whenever this event would be triggered an error function should be also fired and that in this error function I'll have something like let x equals e dot page x and this e dot page x is and what this e is so I forgot to add e here so what this e dot page x is uh, it it will basically give us the value of the amount of pixels that we that our mouse pointer is from the left of the page so if I try to show you I'll add console dot log x and now if I open my console here and let me clear it and now just see to my pointer if I am at the very left of the page see the values this is zero right now but as I increase the value and as I go to right the value increases and as I go to left the value decreases and at some point I get zero so this uh, this x is or this e dot page x is just the value that I that my mouse pointer is from the x axis now I'll also add a very similar thing that is e dot page uh, page y and yeah you guessed it correct it is for the uh, for the y direction or from the top of the page now I'll say cursor cursor dot for oh my god cursor dot for each el I want uh, el dot style dot left equals and inside this back text I'm using template literals here x pixels and now to el dot style dot top equals inside this back text y pixels like this and now it would follow my mouse pointer as it does now but I'll again come back to my cursor and give it a transform translate minus 50% minus 50% and th this is going to shift my mouse pointer 50% and 50% from both x and y direction so now I have my cursor in, in the very middle of my mouse pointer now uh, but you can see that whenever I hover on this link I cannot um, I cannot change my cursor to pointer it is not changing that means we are not hovering on these links but what we are not hovering on these links so yes it is true because now we are hovering on the cursor so if we do not want that I can add pointer events to none to this cursor so now this means that cursor is there but I cannot have the, the pointer event to this that means I cannot hover on this I cannot click on this or I cannot perform any job to it that is related to my mouse so now if I hover my cursor changes to pointer so yeah it works and now I want to remove my cursor so I'll say to my body cursor none and now my cursor disappears but when I hover hover on any of the links my cursor again appears so for that to disappear I'll just grab a and say cursor none and I could have also used cursor none to my link but I want to add cursor none to each and every link that I have on my web page now here uh, it did not work because I had a typo error here so now it should work yes it works now it is working till now but now what we want is we want that whenever we hover on these links we want the style of this cursor to change but before that I missed one thing that I should have a nice animation for this cursor so I'll just go to inner and give it a transition and that transition would be transition 250 milliseconds is out like this like this I have so okay I have created this nice animation now to this JavaScript I'll say const links equals document dot query selector all and a should be capital and then link and if you want the hover effect that I'm going to apply on these links to each and every anchor tag that you have on the web page you can say instead of this dot link you can say anchor tag and that would grab each and every anchor tag but for now I'll just add dot link here 
and now inside this for each function inside this for each function i'll say links dot for each so that means i'm again triggering a for each function and inside this i'll say um link dot add event listener and that means i'm adding an event and that is mouse enter so uh, whenever i whenever i put my mouse on this link that it is just it is just the second name of hovering you can say that and i want link dot or not link i want el dot class list dot add cursor or hover maybe you can add any class you want and then i want to add another event and that is link dot add event listener mouse leave and i would again trigger a function that will now remove the class remove hover so this line of code says whenever we hover on any of the links this class list sh uh, this hover class should be uh, should be added to both of my cursor and now this is telling that whenever we leave the link the hover class should be removed from both of the cursors now here we will we'll see no change but the class the hover class is being added to our cursor now if to my css i come and if after everything uh, if I say cur dot cursor dot hover and then transform scale 4 and that is going to scale it up to uh, scale it scale it up four times and don't forget to add transform or sorry translate minus 50% minus 50% because it was here right it was here so if I say transform scale 4 that means I'm overwriting this but I do not want to overwrite so I'll add this as well now whenever I hover this happens but see there is something wrong here see when I hover when I hover on this see the border the border does not animate it just shrinks up or not shrinks up it just expands the border just expands but I have a transition on this my inner because I have added transition here so for that what I'll say to my cursor is I'll give transform or oh, not transform transition and that would be transform and or not here let me remove this from here to this as, that means as soon as we hover on this as soon as we hover on this this hover class is added to that cursor so as soon as I hover this class is added and now when this is hovered I want the transition and that transition should only be for transform transform to 50 milliseconds is in out now so you can see now now that transition this transition that I have that my inner inner cursor is following my cursor is removed when I hover on this because uh, because I have added transition just oh sorry just to this transform property okay so uh, whenever this hover class is added this transition should be added so as soon as we hover within milliseconds this hover class would be added and when this hover class is added this transition should trigger and as it triggers now and this transition is removed so my inner cursor is not following my mouse cursor but it is just moving with the same pace now i want to change the style of this cursor so i'll say dot inner dot hover and then I'll say, um, let's say I'll change the background to F7, F7, F7. And I do not want any transparency. I want it to be opaque. Now I'll also add mix blend mode difference. And let me show you what this line of code does. So I have like this. Now whenever we hover, you can see this uh, on the part where we, ha where we have hovered. That changed, that changed its color from white to black. And where we haven't ho ho hovered, that is as it was. So yes, with this, our project is also completed. So let me get a save here. And if you have any question, you can comment down below in the comment section. And if you like the video, hit that like button down below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the instant notification of our latest videos. Thank you for watching.